Hi folks and welcome back to the Minnesota Homestead. Today we are back at our orchard. Earlier this year I posted a few videos of us actually getting the orchard set up, putting in our trees and all of that. Now as we move into fall and winter we're getting it all set so that it is fully protected. That means putting up our fence. So we have about 7,500 square feet here and want to, as I mentioned, make sure it's fully protected and ready to go. We have a lot of deer in the area, and so one of the main things that's important to us is getting a fence that is going to keep them out. So, first of all, talking about the bones, our fence is made of 12-foot treated wood posts. We bury them about four feet in the ground and then put them in cement. Um, our most of our posts are eight inch diameter and then the ones in the corners the four corners are ten inch posts So just to start out with we've got some really really sturdy starts The next thing we did is we chose to put in a woven wire fence for about the first four feet We went back and forth between woven and um, Another version, but we decided to go with woven because it's very very strong it's easy to work with and also when you push it out of shape it's going to spring right back which is really really nice especially if we're trying to keep an animal out so we've got the bottom here and we did a um, kind of a graded version so at the very bottom the um, holes are quite a bit smaller than they are up here at the top we want to make sure that we're keeping out rabbits and skunks and things like that. Skunks can actually be a really big problem for beehives, so uh, it's always on top of my mind. Um, so that's one thing that's really helpful about this woven wire that we chose. Um, up above, we have quarter inch uh, galvanized cable. So quarter inch is much uh, stronger, much thicker than something we need to keep out a few deer but my husband is a little bit crazy. He loves to make sure everything is as perfect and as bulletproof and hello honeybee uh, as everything as possible. So he wanted to really oomph it up. But so then we have um, three really strong cables going up to seven feet. I mentioned that we're doing this to protect from deer. Deer can jump seven to eight feet. However, they can't jump straight that way. They need to get a bit of a running start. Because of that, um, we don't have a whole ton of space between the fence and then the trees. So there's not as much room for them to get up a running start and get over. Plus seven feet just in general should be plenty fine. So this is what we have right now for winter. Next spring, we're going to put some electric fencing. Uh, we're gonna probably do three, one at the bottom, one part way through, and then one just above the top of this woven wire. And we're gonna be doing that to protect our bees. Right now, our hive, way back there behind me, is in its own electric fence. Since we didn't have this fence up at all, we wanted to make sure they were well protected after our first fiasco with Bear and our destroyed hives. Um, anyway, so they do have a big, really, really sturdy electric fence back there. So since we don't have a ton of time this winter, what with getting everything else in the cabin ready, we are leaving that electric fence for now. Next spring, when we get the electricity the whole way around, then we'll go ahead and actually take the back fence down. So I am very, very happy this is ready to go. Most of the credit does have to go to my husband and my dad. They spent most of the time out here last weekend working on it while I'm on a vacation with my mom. <laughs> um, and I, I did a little bit today with my husband. <laughs> but I'm really, really grateful for both my hubby and my dad. And uh, this is definitely due to their hard work. I hope you are continuing to enjoy learning about everything we're doing up here. I hope you got some good information on what we chose, why we did this fencing that we did. So if you're thinking about expanding your homesteading lifestyle and are building an orchard or something like that, you can get some good ideas from what we do here. So to make sure that you're always up to date on everything, hit that little subscribe button down below. If you want to, right next to it, there's a little bell icon. And if you hit that, you'll get notified every time we post a new video. We also have a blog, themnhomestead.com, and right now I'm filling it with uh, canning recipes because I'm getting into my groove of um, blackberry, blackberry vanilla, wild raspberry, bumbleberry, all kinds of other things, canning, so check that out for weekly updates. And then lastly, to see all of the beauty that we have, check out our Instagram at the.mn.homestead. And we will see you next time at the Homestead.